then the All kids right, come working checking. for her. Can I um, just make a quick statement? <clears throat> yes. In regards to some messages I've had today, because I just want to make this statement, because um, I'm not, I'm not going to say any names. Yes. Um, but I've had some messages in regards to a moderator um, of K's. Mm -hmm. um, can we please stop messaging mods if you are because i know there's people in here that are messaging mods all of k's mods and they yeah although there are some mods that are just idiots and know exactly what they're doing there are also that i have spoken to firsthand vulnerable mods that are going to get extremely overwhelmed with all of the messages and all of the posts being made about them so can we all just if you are messaging them yeah. just don't message them don't just stop messaging them even if they reply back to you don't reply back yeah no i agree with that completely if like, I, messages I, to I responded to chloe louise because she was abusive and so i responded However, I wouldn't go out of my way to message any of her mods because that's not my place. And if you want to reach out, it needs to be done in a, hey, I'm here if you want to talk, and that is it. But it really should just be coming from one of us main people who were involved in trying to out everything as opposed to just a random person. Yep. Yeah, see, I want to say it as well. Like, I, I'm not, I and I'm not going to apologise for going after that. Chloe and her boyfriend after what they said about my child. No, I agree with you. And the threats completely. they made. But I have stated many times now, please don't go after the moderators because they're yeah. vulnerable people themselves. All of us are, in some way have been tricked by this young lady who yeah. needs some serious mental health help. And by us going after moderators, it's only going to give her more ammo and yeah. it's going to cause other people distress that's not needed that's not what our game is that's not what our aim is our aim is to get her the help she needs and get her off tiktok that's it stay yeah. in our lane i'll i'll say this here now like i'm on about a certain like um emily i'll say it because you'll know exactly who i'm on i don't think anyone else like well um people who are involved with the situation will but viewers won't so i'm i i feel safe saying this but i've had a few messages today of people going oh i've messaged the moderator beginning with b and that's who i'm concerned about that all yeah. these people yeah. are messaging that moderator and they're extremely yeah. vulnerable yeah so, that is the one person that that only the people closest to her should be trying to yeah. help because yeah. she is yeah. so vulnerable you can't, if you don't know her, please do not message yeah. her. Funny enough, she's actually me she's messaged me as well. Because <laughs> it's, it's worrying enough that she's still in that situation, but she will get, it will get so, so much worse if people that she doesn't know starts messaging her. Yeah. Now, I will admit, will I have messaged, her. yeah, I, I will admit, I have messaged Ali, but then that's because me and Ali used to be close. Ali is my ex-girlfriend, so. Yeah. And I only messaged her because I saw a video of her giving stuff, ordering stuff for Kay, and I just wanted to. Yeah. Talk that's a, so that's a blanket thing. Don't don't be messaging any of the mods. At the end of the day, I used to be a mod. Yeah. And like loads of oh, you no. know me. Tens of you know me, and tens of you speak to me on a regular basis. I used to be one of the mods too. Now, in fairness, when I was modding for her, I wasn't well. It was before I'd started my therapy and while I was doing my therapy. So I wasn't all there. So I was vulnerable and she took advantage of that vulnerability. Emily, I just want to quickly interrupt you. Becoming me, that comment, was that aimed at Rebecca the mum? Because that's not needed. So if it is aimed at her or you're talking to her, I apologise. But if that's aimed at her, that's not needed. What comment aimed at her? So it's, it's Rebecca, the mum with ASD, she's obviously faking everything, though. It's not. It's not so so very obvious when when you're in the situation. We are now obviously out of the situation, so yeah. we can see it. But when you're in that situation, speaking from experience, you genuinely don't see it. No, that the thing is when she's when you're feeling very vulnerable yourself and very alone, and you've stumble upon someone who seems to be 
as ill or more ill than you and they seem to be just as alone it's very easy to latch on and that's how those sorts of people are so clever and so intelligent because narcs are very clever and it's just one of those things so there's no there's no need for for that comment right i just want to go back a couple of comments because sorry i just want to answer becoming me like i'm not i don't uh, like it might come across horrible what i was saying but what i mean is at the end of the day yes she doesn't have these conditions she says but she does have a condition yeah. that makes her believe this is real and people who are just in that same position as being clinically unwell they're lonely they have people that go to her and latch on to the bit that they think she understands or they can relate that's yeah. why i didn't mean to come across rude i'm just blunt I can't yeah. help it, but I didn't mean to like, I, I wouldn't have a go. I was just saying, you know, not everybody can see it. Yeah. yeah. No one in this, in this, um, these boxes right now are trying to be rude. It's just that it's the situation, the situation itself is very delicate, especially for the mods that are still there. And we are protecting them mainly because obviously they're very, very vulnerable and she sucks them in because they are vulnerable. Half of us in here have probably been through it. And not so. only that, but if you've got to remember the, the assault and offensive she goes on when you stop being a mod, if you're already very vulnerable and not in a mentally good place and not in a physically good, good place, she can tip she you over the it. edge. She nearly t tips yeah. me over the edge. Being her mod nearly tips me over the edge. And I'm just yes. lucky I have my son because my son is the person who keeps me grounded and that's all I'll say on that. Right, I just yeah. want to go through some of the comments. Uh, not my monkeys, not my circus. What has she been saying in her life today as to why she's disappeared? I don't know because even though she's unblocked me, she keeps on going private so I can't see her lives and I didn't know that she'd gone live. Um, she hasn't, as far as I'm aware, said why she disappeared. It will probably be all my fault because I was bullying her because, you know, now, what she'd actually said about me, so she did the whole slagging us all off after my last live, and then the next day said that she understands what we're all trying to do. What we're all trying to do is get her sectioned, and it's not her that needs sectioned, it's me. And she specified me. I apparently need to be sectioned. Now, while when I was her mod, that did make sense and it probably would have been a good idea. However, that is not the case now and nor will it be because i will continue to keep, take my medication and if i go downhill mentally i know i've got friends i can reach out to she can't say the same uh right so i just want to touch on that because that really peeved me off um her mods sound like vulnerable kids the, the, not all of them are, well i think only one of them is technically a child as in they are under 18 but they are all very vulnerable um Oh, thank you, Observer. Yeah, um, um, she discharges herself. Sorry, there's a comment saying that the hospital wanted to keep her in. I wanted to touch on it before it disappeared and I forgot. She would. She will do that. She does yes. discharge herself regardless of whatever help she needs. She will discharge herself. Apparently she doesn't like hospitals, um, which is fair enough. I don't like hospitals. Still spent seven weeks in there. Yeah. Um, uh, but yes, no, and on the thing about she said about you needing sectioning, just, Emily, she said the same thing to me. And that's the thing, she goes on the offensive and she will say that, and not only will she say that, she's saying that on live in front of loads of other people who will then go and attack the person that she's against. And so you end up with an inbox full of abuse of people, and she will also then state for fact that i zoe chloe whoever amy she, she did it with amy i saw her do it with amy um because amy did leave for a while and then she came back she will stay uh, mm -hmm. that person does not have any illnesses the only illness that person has is and she picks one illness that they've stated that they have and then she says the only other things that are wrong with them is they're mentally ill now one that puts a stigma on mental illness which is funny considering she generally admits she has mental health problems herself doesn't go into the extent of what she has but does admit she has mental health problems herself so i don't understand why she's trying to put a stigma on that but two she undermines people who have done nothing but support her and if yeah. you're already in a vulnerable position 
to have her do that and to have her turn everyone else that you've got close to against you is very, very scary. Now, I was very lucky in that I left with an with a group of mods. There was a group so of us that all wow. left together. So I was lucky because we all left together. Now Zoe left, and yeah. I saw That's when Zoe definitely. left, there was a group of mods that left, and then a couple, and then another couple, and then another couple all went back. Because it's easier to go back than it is to stay away. And that is the pinnacle of being in a narcissistic relationship. Yeah, some. well, I know a couple now that um, have, that when I was on, have left now. Um, obviously, Chloe and Sam have both left. I know her ex-mod, her other mod, Beth's left, and I know Carla's left. Yeah. Sorry, I did name them, but that's because they. I know that at least one of them's here. Emily, um, yeah. I'm going to hop off. I'm on call to Julie. So okay. I, I'm going to hop off because I feel like anyway, someone else can hop in because I feel like I've said all I need to say. I just wanted to say that thing about the mods. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I'll give someone else the, the box um, to hop into. Perfect. Um, Thank you, Sarah. I did do a lot for Kirsten. I did try care, my everyone. best. Take care, darling. Bye. Take care. Bye. Take care, hon. Bye. Um, she also, one of the t thing I've her telling pinpointing one condition she actually told me that none of my conditions were real mm. um and i'm just lucky that w i left with sam and chloe because my god did my mental health decline after that i even so tried to stand true. up she says that to everybody she, i even they tried to see. stand up because she convinced me so much that my brain was trying to tell me that i could walk I, I can attest to that because I was on call when she did it. I literally yeah. oh That's what I mean. How dangerous is that? What would happen if you'd fallen and there was nobody there? Luckily, if I had fallen, I was in the hospital. But still. That's not yeah. lucky. No, it's not lucky. That's I'm lucky. just saying I was in the right place. Like she, should never have, she should never have allowed you to get to that point. No. I mean, as I've said before, I've been dealing with her since 2017. And what I've noticed time and time again is she would go through a circle of people and she would discredit them. She goes for what she knows will, or what she thinks will hurt the person the most, will trigger yeah. the person the most. Whether it be your child, whether it be your mental health, whether it be your physical health, she looks for what she thinks is going to hurt you the most. And that's dangerous. Yeah. Uh, Daniel has said, and this, this is quite a few messages, uh, so because I'm having to scroll through them. <clears throat> Um, tell me you've been in an arc relationship without telling me you've been in an arc relationship. It's also about control. Discrediting is the way she stays in her bubble. Ring the bell, anyone? 100%. Exactly yeah, 100%. what she is. And yes, Neve, you were one. You left when I did. When I did. Uh, Christy, the, uh, the only thing I said before you got here is we are going to give try and give people who don't normally come up um, the chance to come up even if all they want to do is come up and quickly like say what's going on and then drop straight back down again um, okay. and for people to keep their mics on mute um, so that we don't have any like back flare with sound. Um, it's not called back flare. There's an actual word for it, but my brain has said back flare is the word. No I problem. Can't, I can't think of the actual word. That'll be the one. Feedback. See, I knew it would it's something to do with an F. Back flare covers it though. It covers it. The joy of brain fog. That's what my brain decided to go for. Back flare. Right, I will shut up in a minute. Um, yeah, I just wanted to give a big shout out to Chloe and Sam because I would not be here if it was not for them. And also, Chloe, if you've got an issue whilst I'm here, please message me. I will. I will. All right. And me. Don't and you. All right, I love you. Don't message me. Don't message me. No, that's a joke. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait, sorry, I've got to read this one out because I'm just, my flabbers have just been gasted. So I'm going to read the person's <laughs> name out because they've happily typed this comment. Emily, I'm do you realise you just had word spaghetti? Yeah, I am stealing that, Emily. I love that. Right. Rebecca Aries has said, I got told I was lucky to just have bladder cancer. What? I beg your fucking pardon. What? Sorry, Sorry, what now? 
that <laughs> Sorry, fucking what? excuse my language, but fucking appalling. That's absolutely disgusting. Yeah, and this is the thing, this is what she does. This is what she does. Well, I just wanted to understand a bit more. Like, so this person's this person's not sick at all, like no. apart from a fictitious disorder. Yes, actually, she's got mental health, but that's about it. Basically, um, obviously, we don't know for certain fact yeah. whether she has any conditions. I know she doesn't have EDS. One, because she admitted she doesn't have EDS, and two, yeah. because she doesn't have any of the the classic signs of. She doesn't EDS. have epilepsy. Well, I had a, su a suspicion about that one in particular because I have epilepsy. And um, she was in a status on a live, or a, or apparently in a status on a live, but she was taking fucking sips, possessed more. She like. was taking sips of water in between, like her status, if you like. And I was just kind of sitting there thinking, well, that's not how epilepsy works. You you go unconscious and then you wake up, at, or you don't wake up at some point after a seizure. You don't take a sip of water in the middle of a, a seizure, as far as I'm aware. No, it's not something I've ever done. <laughs> no. Uh, can I just say, um, Nor me. sorry to just interrupt you a second, Rebecca Aries, if you want to reach out to me, feel free to message me and we can talk after the live if you don't feel comfortable coming up. But that sickened me and I want to, I've got to keep my yeah. temper in check. But yeah, Taylor, basically, hey. she admitted hey. that she doesn't have epilepsy and EDS in the same life. And yeah. it was screen recorded and shared everywhere because obviously... And her dad. Her, yeah, and her dad admitted that she doesn't have epilepsy. She's never had an EEG. Then all of a sudden she'd had an EEG weeks ago, but hadn't told anyone about it, even though she lives um, for the attention. So hang on. Lately, so she most definitely would have told people if she'd had one yes. then. Um, and this is the thing. People like yourself who actually have the condition... Look at her and go, right. What? I'm just confused because lately she she's had air ambulances out for seizures. I don't know. Yeah, like, it's like, been I mean, proven it's a lie. Allegedly speaking, this is what's happened, allegedly. Like, this I'm is what she's saying to us. She's yeah. saying, oh, we've had air ambulances. We've had air ambulance website for Norfolk. There's no yeah. record of it. Oh, can you look at the jobs they do? If you're a super nerd, you can actually download an app. You can download, there's two apps that cover the UK for helicopters, just helicopters. And I only know this because I've got friends who are nerds and they follow, and they, and so I ask them. Um, they've got the two apps and one covers um, any transport that is to do with medical stuff. So any medical transport and any police um transport so any police or medical helicopters and the other app is um any helicopter that is registered so which is basically every helicopter um you can see their yeah. flight paths and you can see where they've been where they're going where they normally go and all that sort of stuff so you can actually track the air ambulance where it has been where it hasn't been and it's pretty much up to date on the app if you get it on the app you can watch it moving on the app and watch it moving on the map it's basically like google maps but for helicopters and you can watch it and it's not yeah. gone over to her at all That's quite cool. also I would like to point out that each time an air ambulance is called, be that helicopter or airplane, because there's medical airplanes, because my son's been on one, but each time one is called out, it costs just under £3,000, plus £300 per hour, or they are there with the patient, plus £3,000 per doctor needed for critical care on the air ambulance yeah because i thought air so ambulance for somebody that's had that in three months she would not be allowed to discharge if she was that poorly no because i thought air ambulances were just for like things that are really in remote remote areas like no, but you can't if, get to if someone a, needs help real quickly ambulance. right christy like what's wrong darling somebody was asking somebody was asking because apparently yeah she said that she's infertile how would she know how would she know? Why would she be tested to see if she's infertile? You only get to, they only Sorry. test you if you're in to see if you're infertile if you've tried to have a child. And the only way that they would be able to, like I was told when I was a teenager I couldn't have children, but that was because of physical problems with my body and also other stuff that I'd done to my own body. 
that meant that I wasn't going to be able to carry a child. Um, and someone's put, becoming me has put, I have Ella Stanlos and every time I abbreviate it on TikTok, it gets filtered. That's because you're writing the letters E, D and S. So it thinks you're talk, trying to talk about disordered eating, which it doesn't like. So you can't write that. So you have to actually write it out, which is annoying yeah. as hell. Sorry, Taylor, continue. Yeah, the other thing that really worries me about her as well is that she's self-injecting medications. Like, I don't know if she's been trained to do that, but it doesn't look like she's been trained to do yeah, that. We've, she we've all a bit brought that up and tried to, I've actually literally but, tried to talk to her own father about yeah. that and explained. She has seizures around the same time every night and they're right after she does her meds. So surely there's a chance, this was obviously when I believed all of her lies, there must be a chance that it's something to do with the medication that she's on or the mixture of meds or how fast she's pushing them. And his response was, oh, he knows sense. exactly what she's doing. She's not a registered nurse. Yes. Emily, have you taken your medication? Uh, yeah, I'm just in lots yeah, of pain Emily, tonight because my me having that yeah. bloody pox attack has caused me my entire back. All of my neck and all of my back is in is completely seized up. I could literally bounce pebbles off my back. It's it is solid. It's like an Olympic Olympian swimmer's chest right now. My entire spine is like that. It's horrible. Yeah. Oh Chloe Mad sorry. Thank you. Sorry, I just wanna say, um somebody's just asked um that what happened the other night when she had a big episode that presented real? Well, I can tell you now that seizures she's trying to claim she has are tonic clonic. If you look at her muscles, her muscles are relaxed. In tonic clonic, mm. none of your muscles are relaxed. None. No, Except your bladder, some... maybe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that. There, done that. Tonic, and your bowels sometimes. The tonic description stands for the muscles contracting. I think, and the clonus is the jerking of the muscles that have contracted. Yep, that's exactly what it stands um, for. My mum has tonic-clonic epilepsy. I have tonic-clonic and myoclonic. But yeah, it just makes me feel sick that somebody would want to fake having um, what something so horrible. When Carl has her tonic-clonic, her hands go bright red, you know, from being stiff. You can see how tight her muscles have gone, her colour changes in her, um, and Kirsten's colour never changes. It's the same with around Kirsten's mouth and nose. Regardless of if she's able to breathe or she's choking like she claims in her seizures, they change colour. Carly, you, you'll know what I mean. Yeah, 100%. They change, they go with a funny colour. Yeah. Like, I can't say what I look like because I've never seen myself, thank God. Yeah, but I know with my both. boy, his mouth and his nose change colour. Yeah, Carly, Carly's mouth goes like a bluey purple colour because obviously she can't breathe properly. Yeah, it's a horrible colour. Yeah. You don't forget the colour. And her hands and her arms and her whole body goes bright red. Now, I don't know if anyone else's does because her neuro has never seen anything like it. Um, but it's like she has a reaction to the seizures. But you can tell with her muscles and how tense her fingers are when she's doing it. Now, the vid Kurt, she's not tense. You can tell it's forced. You can tell it's not a real tense look. See, my boy's hands go like really pale, but I don't know if that's because of his, his mixed race. So I don't know if that's why his hands go pale, but his mouth and that, it's like a purple blue. It's horrible. You don't forget the colour. No, definitely not. I've got loads of videos of Carly um, because you've got a video of your kids nowadays, don't you? And it, it didn't happen if you don't have to. Well, evidence, yeah. yeah, they don't believe in yeah, like, loads of videos. Yeah. Carly goes, let's say she goes bright red, but no one's ever seen anything of it before ever. I'll send a picture in the group chat in a minute so you can have a look. Um, she goes like, it's like she's having a really bad reaction <gasps> to the seizure. It's weird. Okay. I've also once with a patient that I went to. I've seen it once and it shocked me. Also, she doesn't make, like my mum, I know when my mum has her seizures, she makes a lot of noises. Like there's a lot of grunting or a lot of snorting or a lot of like, there's just a lot of noises. And she's not making any of those no, audible she makes it sound noises. Like she's not you know, well, let's just put it this way. I was watching anyway. one of her like, one of her videos. Yeah. See, my son makes a noise, and it you can hear it through the back of his throat. 
Not like like she does. You can hear it. It's like uh, vibrating page. from the back of their throat and yeah. their nose area, not through their mouth like In she makes. Most, a lot of people are asking about the massive yeah. incident that happened two nights ago. I believe as much as if it wasn't a tonic yeah. chronic seizure it was uh, Paige, I will jump, I will pull you up in a second it wasn't. just um oh uh, no I can jump down if somebody wants to come on yeah, yeah, Paige, Paige if you're right, right, in, I can pull you up little in. Hi ladies um I don't I didn't want to interrupt anything sorry I'm new here It's all right I've been um nice to meet you all um I just want to say Firstly, that I'm sorry for everything that everybody's going through. And I'm also very sorry that somebody's been able to kind of trick many people on this app with an illness. And I wanted to talk about my experience I had. I've never spoken about this before. This will be the first time, but I just want to explain how dangerous these types of people can be. So there was a, a young person um, that had me totally fooled. But the, some of the things that she did was extremely questionable. Now, I believed everything. I had no reason not to believe her. Yeah. It's very easy to believe somebody because you've got no reason not to. If somebody says they're ill, they're ill. Now, this, this person, I'm not going to name any names, but this person has done it multiple times. Um, but this person told me this is the extreme the person went to. Firstly, she said she had seizures. She took a seizure at my home. I was about to call an ambulance and she said, don't call an ambulance. Now, you cannot speak when you're having a seizure. That is absolutely impossible. She stopped me from calling an ambulance when she was having a seizure. Yeah. Then she tried to tell me that she had cancer. Now, the only reason I found out this person was lying was because my daughter was at an appointment at the hospital. She seen this person. This is the length she went to. She seen the person get out of a car, take a photograph by the sign for the cancer ward and get back in the car and drive away. Oh, my that God. That is the only. Yes. Honestly, it gets worse. I have. Honestly, I. That is nothing. I never go live, never. But I have, we, I've just been watching what's been going on over the last few days. I've said nothing, but I really need to tell this story because there's a lot of people that are still believing this girl. And people need to understand the lengths that they will go to to get people to believe them. Yeah. It's an illness. They've got an illness. There's something wrong. So she'd done that. Now, that was the very last thing she did, and that's how I found out she was lying. But before that, there was one occasion where she'd turned up with a scarf on her head, and uh, she had a full head of hair. And I found that a bit strange. She was trying to say she had cancer. She was sat on the couch. She jumped up suddenly, holding her mouth. I seen blood, and I thought, oh, my gosh, as if she'd coughed up blood. Mm. She went to the bathroom. And it wasn't until she left that I seen the spots of it on the soap. It wasn't blood. It was some kind of maybe pain, ink, dye. I don't know what it was, but it surely wasn't blood. So yeah. she pretended that she'd coughed up blood. She also told me that when she was young, her mother hung herself while she was at school. She said she got home from school and she was holding her mother's legs to try and hold her up. She was a child. It turned out her mother was completely alive and well. So these are the some of the stories that she'd said to me. She'd said a lot more, but I won't go into more of it because it's just you just don't want to know. Yeah. But these are the things that she said to me, and I stupidly believed her. I believed her. I actually thought she was genuinely ill. But the thing was, it was affecting her child. She had a child. And one day she said that was she was extremely proud of him because he'd called an ambulance while she was having a seizure. But then she's taking photos, sat on an, on the front boot of the, you know, the first response car. Yeah. She was taking photos, her and her son at the foot. Why? And then one time she'd gone to hospital and they'd put a cannula in her arm. She'd hid that cannula and gone home with it and then put photos online as if there was something wrong with her. Then a lady on her street had passed away and she'd been looking after her and she had one of those um, 
um, oxygen things up the nose. You know them little things that go up the nose for oxygen. Yeah, she had gone to that. the lengths. Yeah, she'd gone to the lengths of taking that from that property, putting it up her own nose, putting a head scarf on, and then acting like she was ill again. Oh my She's God. done it several times. I've caught her out three times and the friend of mine's caught her out twice and we've had to expose her every single time because all these people believe her. And then we've had to provide evidence that is all false. This so, isn't about Kirsten, by the way, just to let everyone in the No, it's please. definitely no. not. It's no, not about it's Kirsten. Not. It's about someone else who's basically doing exactly the same. Yes, exactly the same. Now, the last thing that happened was around maybe a year, a year and a half ago, I got a, a phone call um, saying that she's doing it again, but there was somebody, I'm not going to name names because I might get into trouble for it, there's somebody that's very, very popular um, all over the country, world, you know, and she had this person fooled to the point this person was sharing her story. We then had to contact this person's agent, who then got to this person to expose her with the evidence yet again. Now, I've heard nothing since, but for all I know, this person's doing it again somewhere. Yeah. But these people are dangerous. They, they are. are dangerous, not just to other people, but also to themselves. Yeah. Well, the thing is, in, I don't know if you've seen any of... If you've seen just one of Kirsten's lives, because the thing is, she pushes them so often, you only need to watch one live and you'll see it all. She pushes medication. She pushes too much medication to start off with. I'm on a heavy regime of painkillers for, well, on medication, the predominance of which are painkillers for all the conditions I have. I am almost twice her age and I'm not on half the meds that she's on. And I am very, very regime based with mine when I can take them, how often I can take them, how many I can take in a day, like every other human being on the planet, unless you are on end of life care, in which case it is different, but it's dealt with through a nurse or a caregiver also, in some way, shape you, or form. If you, she I pushes can tell those you, from my own experience, so fast. you need a nurse for that stuff. Yeah, and she pushes those meds so quickly through the tube. You shouldn't push them that fast through the tube. She also takes them way too often and she will state mm -hmm. that she's not eaten or state that she's not had any nutrients in her body for so many days, which always changes, by the way. So if you spoke to her, if you watched her live today, she'll say for the past seven days, she hasn't had any feed. And then tomorrow she'd say to you, oh, the past three days, I've not had any feed. Yet her fridge is full of food, <clears throat> even though apparently she can't eat, but she was recorded eating on her live eating sweets and eating toast so make that make sense <coughs> so she can, can i just ask sorry to interrupt can i just ask so i've heard mention about her parents specifically her father is her father enabling this yes 100 percent. yes do you believe does anybody believe that it's maybe this has been dad. going on since Absolutely. she was does anyone believe that maybe this has been going on since she was a child and she's been kind of made to believe that she is ill yeah so i did yeah. I, I, I have that to answer that boxes? and heather can answer that because heather knows way more about her younger her than i do heather so no they they enable her because they're scared they lost a daughter her sister through okay. brain brain cancer sadly and the glass child, so she was ignored quite a lot as a, as a young girl because her sister needed the attention. And I first come across this girl in 2017. And her parents are scared of her. Her parents are actually scared of her because every time they question something she does, she herself. And it's got to the point... Wow where if they question what she's saying she won't speak to them for weeks or she try and make an attempt and every time her dad tries to say something she sits there and she stares at him to make sure he doesn't say anything wrong like she's very controlling 
in, in all aspects. Yeah. Left her because she needed yeah. to get. How like, old is she? She's 25. Twenty-five. 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 But she, she literally gives her father the yeah. other life. So she has been sectioned oh. many times Sorry, in Heather, different can I hospitals. Just, um, touch on what Thank you said about. She is barred from several yeah. hospitals. She is barred from sev several medical hospitals. Because she is kicked I off. I don't mean to sound rude. Sorry, but doctor. do we have proof that this has happened? Yeah, I can give yeah. you proof. <laughs> is the proof okay? No, I yeah. don't need it. I'm just yeah. asking. I'm just getting to grips no, no, with everything. Yeah, no, that's fine. There's proof. Well, of basically, there, there is. Basically. We've got evidence of um, everything. So everything that Zoe said, everything uh -huh. that um, I've said, everything that Heather said, everything that um, there's another girl, woman who's sharing, who does lives about this situation and she's got evidence of everything too. We are trying at the minute to try and collate everything to get it all together and then what we're going to do, the plan thus far, is to share the same evidence across all of the accounts, across all of our accounts. So we're all sharing the same information so we can actually prove prove everything, back everything up because I can back everything up that she's ever said to me and that I've, I know. Um, and yes, she has. Uh, well, as far as I'm aware, she has attempted in the past. Many times. Um, and we've, which we've also got evidence of. And then the plan yeah. is, is that we're going to post that evidence so that everyone can see it and it's going to be posted across every single person's account so that it doesn't matter whose video she manages to get reported. There'll be someone that has still got those videos that is still pushing them out. And, we have tried, we've reported her to the police. We've reported her to her doctor. We've reported her to her social services um, in her area. We have literally tried everything we can. Now we're having to do a multi-agency approach to it, but not involving the police in her area because her family have ties to the police and have literally said to people like Carly's fight, They've told now Carly's fight. I don't know if you know Carly's fight, Annie, but Carly's fight. It, her name's Kirsty. Her daughter's called Carly. She's a very little girl who's very, very sick. And Kirsten decided to go off on one on a little tiny baby and her mother wow. kicking off and saying that she was aing her child and that she had Munchausen by proxy and she was making herself a uh, child sick and all this horrific stuff all of which sorry emily mia tom oh. all the stuff that i have stated and that emily has stated and everybody else is there out in the public platform none of it is any breach of sensitive information at the end of the day no. this girl told me that she hoped my son died so i've been trying to expose her since 2017 when i first realized what a crook she was i just didn't quite realize how mentally unwell she was and i don't mean that in a nasty way i mean she's gone on too long without having the adequate support and help she needs and in the yeah, process she does need she's help made she other does. people unwell Becky Boo is not the moderator you think that she is, Sophie. That's no, not the moderator you're thinking of. Sorry, can I just touch on something Heather said a minute ago about her using her unaliving uh -huh. to manipulate her parents? That is also one of the ways she manipulates all her mods. She's That's done it me. to me, she did it to Chloe, she did it to pretty much everyone. That is really how. Good. That's how she keeps you. In. We could literally yes, do one of those put a finger down reasons. videos just about she Kirsten and about our experiences literally. with Kirsten. And I can guarantee you, no one would have any fingers left. Yeah. Everyone would sorry. have been fingers. Oh, also, sorry. I just want to say, sorry, Emily, yeah, she's sorry, I'll okay. shut up in a minute, I promise. Um, Sophie, you're saying about Becky Boo being one of the moderators. None of us have got a problem with her moderators coming in here. None of us have got a problem with them listening. So long as they do not attack people, that's what we've said from day dot. And this is this is the main thing. What someone has, has said here, what it's becoming okay. means. But I saw that clip where she was said she was on end of life. Now, when I met her on um, here, she told me she was end of life. And I've got videos that prove that. I've got videos that can back up that evidence. Videos of her on her own TikTok, so I can post them because they're part of the public record. Because they'll be out on the internet somewhere. So I'm allowed to post them. I have checked. 
I am allowed to post them. She said she said and had in her bio i am on end of life now she had all of us believing she was on end of life then gave us all a two-month date that she'd got so she was going to be we weren't going to have her anymore after two months then the doctors had managed to find some way of doing this and the doctors had managed to find a way of doing that but none of us were to tell one of her other mods because she'd get her hopes up and we couldn't do that to her the manipulation, I cannot even begin to describe to you how much manipulation is involved with this girl. And while I do believe she has some form of fictitious disorder, I also believe that with her, there is a jealousy undercurrent to it that there was a jealousy of the way that her parents treated her sister and the fact that she had no attention, no love, no support, or at least she felt that way, which I can understand as a child feeling that way. And so what she decided to do was try, was made herself sick, which she used to admit. She used to admit that she made herself sick. And she then got so sick that she needed a tube. And then her sister passed away and suddenly all these illnesses came from nowhere now you can look at it from one angle of well she's got a fictitious disorder she believes all these things to be fact herself and she's obviously very poorly and you know what i mean they they do give her real symptoms because as far as she's concerned they're real or you can look at it a different way of she looked yes, at her mum and dad saw the gap in their life and decided to fill it and her dad just goes along with it. That's what I was just about. That's what I was just about to say about the parents. Maybe they're not so much like making it, but they're they're happy that that they they kind of seeing their daughter, their other daughter, in Kirsten while she's sick. So maybe they get her back is, in um, a way. I, I don't, don't know care that to trigger someone because I know for a fact John, which is her stepdad, not a biological dad. I know he wants to keep her a little girl. He always has done. He cannot see her as an adult. He is just a look to to him. She is his little girl. Now the relationship they have together isn't normal. No. And I don't care what anybody says. It's not normal. And if she is, which we all know, oh, is mentally unwell, he's taken advantage of a vulnerable person, and that's not right either. But her mum, her mum has had enough of it. Her mum does not molly collie to it anymore. She used to. Now she doesn't. I think Amy wants to say something. Sorry, Amy. Amy, go on, darling. Not to nail on the head there, mate. Uh, I just want to say to uh, that Odin, uh, is it Odin? Hang on, let me catch up. Um, so stated, yes, you can. And I said, yes, she yeah, can. Yeah, we've, we've got several um, videos okay, of sorry. her standing up. I've got videos of her standing up from her own TikTok. And she decided to um, she decided to get rid of yes. those videos because obviously they all put the time, her new timeline into question. Because for every new group of mods, she gets a new timeline. Every single time, without fail. Ruby, yeah. the reason they've got the same surname is because her dad has married her mum. Also, her mum and dad have not lived together for over two years because of this Kirsten situation. One of the sisters does not speak to them because of Kirsten's behaviour. Yeah. I don't blame her, she's better off out of the mix if you ask me. Um, um, no, uh, they're not. Her mods are not trained. I just want to answer that question. Emily, Emily, um, please could you, uh, I don't know how to do well, it. Could, I'm still going to listen in, but I need, I'm making a cake and I need to turn my blender on. Could you drop me so it gives somebody else a chance to come in? Hello. Yeah, Thanks welcome. all for listening. I appreciate Thanks. it. You're welcome. You're well, welcome to come in anytime. Thank you for coming up. I've got oh, to go, but quick update. I've just come on here to say, uh, if you have... Uh, yeah, if you have in, a certain, well, her name's already been said on this live, so I might as well say it. Ali's number, block it. She is not to be trusted. Block her number. Julie's doing the same. Just make sure 
that you have got it blocked and do not Wait, yeah, I'll send you a message. Can you fine. send me a message quick? Because obviously, yeah, that, that's my fine. Ex and um, there's something it's I just, need to I know. think we think that obviously she is vulnerable still. That's fine, but we do think that Kay is sending her to Mole for her. So, Zoe, yeah, please you don't be need careful. to don't tell me too much on your shoulders. If you can girl. send me a message about it. I won't, I won't, I just, this is something that, Chloe will make sure that I don't take on too much. Chloe, if you need to be brief, um, okay. but I, I just want to know what's going on with Becky. Ali. Yeah, that, yeah, that's fine. That's literally, that's literally Thank all. You, that is literally all. That's, a, that's, that's everything. But yeah. All right, then, bye. Because obviously, um, if you could, if you could, uh, Emily, if you could tell, I, di I didn't know that, um, I thought that obviously Kirsty would be on here as well, so we could let her know, but I'll have to. Messy she girl. is on here somewhere. She was up in the box and then she dropped out. Oh, okay. Yeah. If you, yeah. If she if she comes back up again, I'll I'll make sure she knows. So okay. okay. Um, okay right. That's Becky fine. Boo oh. has said. So it's all fake illnesses. Please update me as I used to watch her, but she disappeared from my for you page. Basically, yes, it's all fake. Um, fictitious disorder is very complicated because when you have fictitious disorder, you believe the lies that you tell. So it's not necessarily a case of she doesn't have those conditions. It's very much the best way I can describe it, and this is because I've been researching the crap out of it, is it's like a phantom pregnancy. So the body can even exhibit symptoms of those conditions, even though they don't have them. So she cannot prove any of her illnesses because she hasn't ever been tested for any of those things because or she has been tested and they've all come back clear because she doesn't have any of those illnesses. Um, the reason that we all came together, well, the reason I decided I was going to step out of the shadows and actually bring my truth forward was because of Carly's fight. And what she did to Carly's mum sickened me to the point where I was like, nah, I'm going to step forward, I'm going to say something. And then that kind of gave way to this huge movement of what I believe, well, what we all believed at that point to be around 30 people roughly that had all been conned by her to like send money and or gifts slash things she needed now that figure has grown exponentially and in between all of us with separate people that have contacted us using various methods whether that be facebook TikTok, instagram whatsapp and i've even had people on twitter contact me which really freaked me out because i had like 16 twitter notifications and i was like eh, has someone hacked my twitter because i basically never go on there um we're around 500 500 people that have all been affected by her either directly or indirectly and we all need to come out and speak guys it's all right? sorry everyone who's no. asking for ali's out we are not giving you it because at the end of the day she needs to not be um targeted she's yeah no young, one needs to be messaging um yeah so I'm not yeah, no sure who's messaging. asking Ali. what, but they're asking about how, like, how was Kirsten's mum have her? So Kirsten is her mum's daughter. Rebecca was the dad's daughter. Both of them had partners before Kirsten. Yeah. The other daughter, she actually, I, I can't remember if she has one alive sister or one, is her mum's daughter. So no, her mum has two either. kids. Her mum has two kids, two daughters, and the dad had two daughters, I think. Yeah, so there should be four of them. I'm sure there's four of them. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. I can't, but because I've only ever met one of them and I know about Rebecca. But I know that she is his stepdaughter. She has said it many times. He has said it many times. They, like, he's brought her up as his own. Like, I'm not denying that. He has brought her up as his own. But when I was in a medical hospital with her, okay. it, minutes, it, be they back. had an argument because she kicked off over, oh, she wanted an NG, an, N, 
a jejunum or something something that goes from the belly into the intestines and the gastro doctor said to her you do not need one i'm not going to perform surgery on somebody that is perfectly healthy and the dad was like okay thank you doctor righty righty right and she lost it she lost her temper you're not even my real dad you're just my stepdad you've got no say in this matter and then her mum tried to say something and she told them both that she was going to unalive herself then the nurses come along with the doctor and pulled out both of her tubes she kicked off again about that and the doctor turned around and said to her we know it's an ng tube because of the tube you're using you don't need it you do not have anorexia anymore you are a perfectly healthy young lady you need to go and get some proper mental health help we can put you in the right directions we've got leaflets for your mum and your dad again she screamed that's not my dad he's my stepdad he's got no say in it and kicked him out of the hospital they pulled the tubes out she's got up and walked to the toilet slamming the door to put another tube in and I'm sure, I'm sure I've got that on video somewhere because I was on FaceTime with my best friend at the time. And there was like five other people we knew from a group were in the same hospital. We were all in at the same time. And that was November last year. Yeah. Sounds about right. And Emily, I would hazard a guess that you're up to more than Sophie, 500 just have because... have you seen a hospital base? I don't know, babe. like, indirectly, have you seen I mean. Base? Because There's people... literally a curtain. And when somebody's kicking off directly opposite you, you kind of hear and see everything. Yeah, you can. Except they can, um, I just think that um, people that have the illnesses that she's claiming that um she's claiming to yeah. have you know you're affected by somebody faking those i think because yeah. i don't know i can't yeah. explain the feeling but it just feels a bit like icky like i don't know what it is but i just feel a bit like oh why would somebody fake having epilepsy it's absolute hell on earth you don't know if you're going to wake up yeah. from which seizure to the next seizure you know i don't no. think i'd wish I'm it on my worst enemy all of us have i'm being questioned all. about her tube being ripped out and this happening i am happy to go and get those people who I've been I've known for over ten years off of Facebook to give you their recollection. I can give you their names and you can contact them privately. Uh, right. Okay. Hang on. Can I just also add? Uh, do, we don't know about a bio dad. No idea. Right. But what Heather doesn't mean that they literally walked over, grabbed the tube, and yanked it out of her nose. They mean they re she means they removed it. They're obviously not going to yank a tube straight out of someone's face, regardless of who they are and whether they need it or not. They're going to remove it in a safe way. They're not just going to yank it out. Um, right. Okay. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Sorry Beth, if I was uh, over talking you, Taylor. I didn't realise. I was just answering somebody was saying that that's not possible, etc., etc. So I do apologise. Sorry, whoever T was. I didn't realise. It's it's okay. <laughs> It's okay, I have autism, so I'm, I'm regularly over-speaking with people as well, um, so don't worry about it. Okay, hang on, two seconds. I'm just trying to read some comments. Right, can everyone stop targeting Heather in chat, please? Yeah? Everyone just stop targeting, otherwise I will start kicking. Right, and hang on, let me just read the comments. I just want to say this. Nothing anybody says in this chat is going to offend me. I know what is true, I can prove what is true, and I have time and time again. I've got no problems. Even when her moderators come over to me and they message me, for everybody I say, I am not going to make you choose who to believe and who not to. This is the evidence. It's up to you what you believe. Yep. I can only show you what I know to be true. Whether you believe that or not, it's up to you. You're your own person. Nobody has the right to tell you what to do. The only thing I ask is if you are still friends with her, delete yourself off my page. I won't attack you. I won't get angry at you because that's not who I am. Yeah. Uh, yeah, of course you can, darling. Emily, can I just quickly say something? Um, if you guys in the comments can't be respectful, please just don't say anything at all. We're not trying to be hateful. Nobody in this live is spreading hate. We're telling our stories and sharing our truths. If you can't yeah. be nice, that's the thing. My life, please, please. as it as it states, is sorry. This is a safe space. 
and everyone is here and they're expect they're explain blah, 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 blah. they're explaining their experience with being on Kirsten's lives, being a mod for Kirsten, being a friend to Kirsten, having any involvement whatsoever with them and everyone's like everyone's experience of that and everyone's lived experience of that it's their right to come out and explain that and if people feel comfortable to if everyone felt felt comfortable enough to go on their own tiktoks and to do a video saying that this is what kirsten cunningham did to me then brilliant excellent however that isn't the case there's a lot of people that have been put in a really really awful position that feel that they can't and all <laughs> or they shouldn't, or they feel threatened, or they feel scared, so they won't come out and say their truth. I know that we've got quite a number of alt accounts on here, and yeah. I will never out anyone's alt account, because if someone's using an alt account, then they obviously feel scared to use their own account, in which case, if they want to come on here and speak their truth, they can. This is my life, not hers. And if anyone has a problem with anything anyone is saying, or they disagree with us speaking our truth about our experience with Kirsten, then that's not really my problem, that's a you problem. So you can just stay and be respectful or you can leave. Now, if you want to ask Emily, questions- can I just answer Ruby? Ishmael, you haven't, hang on two seconds. Ishmael, you haven't caused any offense, don't worry. Anyone can ask, and ask any questions they want, but please- Ruby, I want to just put this out me. here. When this happened, she was under a six-month section. When you are under a six-month section, you have no say in your treatment. Literally, the only thing that you have a say on is an operation. That isn't life and death. That's the only thing you have a say on. She was on a six-month section. And the reason the tubes were removed was because she was inserting them herself, which they classified as self-harm because of the risk and the damage she can do to herself. Yes, she can, Tash, which she does all the time. There are m many, many videos on, just off the top of my head, Hattie the Patty's face, uh, TikTok. Uh, there will be one on my own TikTok because I managed to find the video on my old phone, but I need to transfer it to this phone and then upload it onto TikTok, so you'll have to give me like two days to get that done because I'm, weirdly enough, it's the kids' holidays and I've got a child, so I'm spending time with my child. Um, Alex has got a video on their account, as far as I'm aware, and there's another account, something to do with Butthole, but I can't remember the rest of the account name, but I just remember Butthole, because I'm five, really. Um, and they all have videos of her putting tubes in herself. She used to do it all the time on live, always. And I mean, like, it was a, it was a daily thing. Amy can preach to this. We saw it all the time, didn't we, Amy? She used to do it all the 1, time. 1,050 percent. It was put in one NG on one side Nobody's and an NG in me. the other side. There's Sorry, no Kayla. such thing as NG in there at the moment. Are you meant to put NG Are you meant to put NG no, tubes in each not. side or are you? You're not, I don't know much no. about There you go. Tubes. She was putting in a, a tube in on oh. in on live tonight. Exactly. Now, right, you can put a tube in yourself. There's plenty of people who are tube fed who put their own tubes in themselves. Heather has vent experience <laughs> of watching other people do them because she's got friends who put them them in themselves. I've got friends who put them in themselves because they get trained by the nurse if they they have to have them regularly. Unfortunately, something that happens with NG tube feeding is that you'll throw up, and if you throw up, you can throw up the tube. So you need to actually learn how to put it in yourself rather than having to go to hospital and have it put in and then go home and then do that repeatedly, especially if you've, say, got a sickness bug. So, hey, Emma. So you'll learn how to do it yourself. Now, the thing is, you, no, you can't put an NG. An NG. No, the issue is, the issue is, she states, this one's an NG, it goes into my jejunum, and this one's an NG, it goes into my tummy, and it's just for draining. But you can watch her medication that she pushes from the NJ tube all the way, magically, magically comes out of the yes, NG tube, magically. And literally, there are videos proving this, because she did 
the craziest of things she put blue fluid in one side and we all saw it coming out the other side literally came out straight out the other side and then she had a drink to try and dilute it it was um, bright see, blue. the thing is with an ng yep. tube you either you can insert yourself because i'm trying to insert my own myself i don't like doing it and if it hasn't got a guide wire there's no chance i'm even attempting it because it can go into yeah, your lung but trust me, you know when it goes into your lung. But when you do an NG tube, you have to pH test it or you have to go and get an X-ray. Yeah. You can't just do it and not check it. No. Can I, sorry to interrupt test. you guys. Hi, Zoe. Um, can I just say something because I'm getting pretty annoyed about some comments. Can we all please stop asking about what's happening with Ali? The only reason I asked Kipper what was going on is because I, I know Ali and obviously Thank you, you. Yeah, people were like kept asking me in the comments and I was just like Yeah kept no, asking I in the comments. I was like, can we just leave it now? And also also I'm worried that she also might be in here. I don't yeah, know for yeah, sure. Sorry. But she might be. She's live um, in a box. Also, um, I think there's a lot of people in the comments asking for Chloe to share her story, so... Uh, yeah, that's fine. I just want to see if Louisa wants to speak, because she has been in the... I mean, Chloe has been in the box before, and Louisa, Can I think, is I new. just add on to what Zoe just said. Yeah. So, it's got nobody's got the right to ask and tell people to share their story. If that person wants to share their story, they'll share it. If they don't, please don't pressurise them or keep asking because it's not fair on them. You don't know what has happened. You don't know what state of mind they're in, where they are, etc. So please stop asking her. Yeah, I did say to Chloe, I did just say to Chloe, I said, you can answer it. You can tell your story if you want to, but please don't push yourself to because I know how much this affected her. And with everything that's going on right now, I really don't want her to do something if she doesn't want to do it. But yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much, Ishmael. That's really kind. I am in a lot of pain. My pain levels are like, you know, when you're thinking about like, you think pain levels don't be so high, and then you look at your pain levels, and it's just Snoop Dogg. That's how high my pain levels are right now. Right, Louisa, do you want to speak, darling? Hello. Sorry, I'm a little bit nervous. I've never gone on live before. It's okay. Don't worry. We're all relatively friendly. We're all a bit crazy, but we're all relatively friendly. So I was sectioned in Sorry. hospital with anorexia at the time that I had contact with her and she told me that I was too fat to be anorexic, that I just wanted tubes for retention and that I was doing it to just, yeah, to harm my family and yeah. And at the time, obviously, I did have anorexia, was quite adamant that I was too fat for tube feeding and told my doctors to t and I kept just pulling the tubes out because I thought that I genuinely didn't need it because someone confirmed that I was too fat. I also because obviously like I wasn't using my stomach because I wasn't eating I did develop gastroparesis from years of yeah. abuse from anorexia she told me it was impossible to get gastroparesis as a result of anorexia and like at the time obviously i was yeah sectioned in hospital like it did massively impact me yeah that's disgusting i just want to say that is absolutely disgusting and you should never have been told that ever that is absolutely disgraceful Yeah. But it doesn't it surprise me that she said it, as awful as it sounds, it does not uh, surprise me that she said it, and can can I say I hope you're doing better now? Um, yeah, I'm yeah. doing as good as I can. Yeah, I'm and, and you very well, you very section. much can cause yourself to have gastroparesis in the exact, through having an ED, in much the same way that you can cause yourself to have other issues further along the line which is likely why i have the issues that i have is because i suffered myself for years and years and yeah i i had a sister that was in my ear with that sort of crap all the time that yeah that that the mental effects that having someone confirm your thoughts has cannot be described to someone unless they've and they've gone through it themselves 
and yeah i totally understand but you, she should never have said that to you and yeah those comments are completely inexcusable i agree also, with Rebecca. sorry <laughs> <laughs> Teresa, i'm as one well as well as not having all these illnesses she's also invalidating yeah she tends to like doing well. that uh heather what did you want to say I was just gonna say, like, I know a lot about endocrine and GI tract, etc. I give talks up and down the country. Um, fun fact: the most common cause of gastroparesis in adults past the age of fifteen, so teens upwards, is Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, POTS, and eating disorders. Mm. Louisa. If you need to debrief after this and just have a little chat and just express that it's a safe space in my PM Thank box you. unless I fear for your safety. So if you want, want yeah, same goes for me. me. You know you can I'm message sure me. Emily will say the same. Thank you. Because that's all I have to say, me, really. Didn't you, but... Louisa? I messaged you back, didn't I? Pardon? You messaged me and I messaged you back, didn't I? I can't. I don't think I have. All right, okay. It must be someone else who's got like who has like the exact same story, literally word, basically word for word, the exact same story. Because I got sent a paragraph by someone who literally told me the same thing, and I just messaged her back and said, "I'm actually about to go live right now. If you want to join us, you can join us." But literally, almost verbatim what you've just said, she had the exact same experience. So you are unfortunately not the only person she has done that exact same thing to which is just even more horrific it makes it more horrific and this is why we're doing what we're doing because um, she's not just down again okay then darling if any... she's not just a danger to herself she's a danger to other people and it's only um well obviously it's not only a matter of time because for yourself the effect that it's that it's had on you is is horrific so can i ask when you've taken this to social services and stuff what have they said to you they said like they're going to do they're anything or they just it. said we're not interested why okay so yeah. somebody is do it trying to do something. we are we are making we're making headway we are moving forward with it i obviously can't give all the details because you never know who's watching um we are making some headway with it we are moving forward with it we are having some traction with it because more and more people are coming forward with their stories with evidence and even just someone's statement can be used as evidence especially if like they're happy to say say like tash like um louisa could say when she was in hospital like the date she was in hospital roughly and they can cross-reference that with kirsten's own medical records and go there we go we know this is true because this is happening hi liz we know that this person was in hospital at the same time so 100 percent, we know this is fact um and there is so much evidence there is an outpouring of evidence and we've we've got more evidence than i ever thought we would ever get to be perfectly honest so we are making headway with it it's just a slow yeah. and long process because we are trying to no. make sure we've dotted all the i's and crossed all the t's to make sure we can back everything up everything i'm we've going to drop, drop out now as much as she uh, sorry who just said they were going to drop out oh, louisa Okay then, Louisa. Well, take care. And if you want to message me, please feel free. Uh, Paige you. wants to speak a minute, and I know Paige has been waiting for a while. So, Paige, if you want to speak, then Chloe can, and then Mother Nuda can. Um, I just have a question to what is the need for her catheter? Uh, that's a bit more of a complicated one, um, but from my knowledge of catheters and especially spc catheters once you have had an spc catheter it's and anyone can correct me if i'm incorrect on this one it's not an impossible to go back to not having a catheter any longer i can't go into the reason as to why she had the catheter because that wouldn't be fair of me to do and as much as she's crossed me and she's 
screwed me over and she's broken me in ways that I can't possibly explain, I'm not going to out her with those things because it's not appropriate. But she has an SBC because she, for now she needs one. It can be corrected. Um, basically, like, um, say, like, when you have a... Um, oh, the, the track up to me. Neck. Yeah, same as a tracheotomy. Tracheotomy, they could stick a, a dress right, over okay. it and it can reverse itself and close itself up. Depending no, it on is reversible, right? Okay. Other people are saying like it is reversible. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Uh, I didn't know that, but I just know for now she's she's got one, and I can't see her getting rid of it anytime soon. Uh, all right, that? Taylor. Guys, I'm going to drop out. But thanks for having you... me. It was nice to meet all of you. If you want to send me a right, follow, so feel like free so and you're welcome well. to join my live anytime. We, well, sure. I'm going to be doing lots of lives about person and raising awareness and stuff but i am going to try and do like one once a month where we listen to music and sing and play around i'm just sure. silly because you know we all need a bit of silly and sunshine yeah. of course it's a yeah it's hard to get that balance when you've got a chronic illness of having fun and self-care yeah. as well which is laying in bed sometimes and being boring you too, darling take nice. care yeah have a great evening everyone Bye. Uh, Paige, is there anything else you wanted to say, darling? Um, yeah, I don't know if you noticed, but there was someone in the chat a while ago called Mark. He was also an ex-mod. Um, I know. He would get asked by Kirsten to buy her stuff, give yep. him him to give her money, and then when he left as a mod, he called her basically... He was saying that she's a lovely girl, all this and that. He never said a bad word, but she was doing the opposite, calling him a paedophile. Yep. That doesn't um, surprise me at all. Saying that he was, like, using her in a way to get into the community of having illnesses and that he prize on ill people. Yeah. She, he's not the first she's done that to, and unfortunately he's probably not going to be the last. I know that... What... Unfortunately, it's true that she's... Sorry? I can't say that. It's not the first time she's done it. No. Um, yeah. What does make me... Well, oh, yeah, be careful it. about using the P word because it often results in a banana. There you go. Hattie the Patties just said she called my dad a P word too. Um, I know she did the same to... Rebecca, uh, Rebecca, Paige isn't saying that Mark is that, she's saying that Kirsten said that about him. Yeah, and I know she said it to another mod when me and Chloe were mods as well. I'm sure he won't mind me saying his name. It was Gary. Uh, he was on here earlier. I don't know whether he's still here, but hello, Gary, if you are still here. But yeah, no, she basically... Well, actually, no, it's the other way around. Sorry, some, one of her mods called the same, called him one of them. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, there you go. Tasha's put. Uh, but she still allowed it. Tasha said, Kay also told me that De Mark is a dangerous man. Mark is about as dangerous as my cats are currently with regard to anything. The only thing my cats are dangerous towards is food. To be fair, Mark's about as dangerous as my cats. A bit dangerous. Yeah, and the ginger one is a little bit, a bit dangerous. dangerous. <laughs> Heather's more dangerous than Mark. Um. Mark's I'm not going to lie, lovely. I am. Molly, if, if I see an injustice, blocked. I will go mad. I'm not even going to lie. Molly, I've been wrong the other end of Heather's anger. Mark's She's lovely. scary. I mean, we've saw it all. She's bloody scary when she's angry. No, Kirsten can't just throw accusations like that around Rebecca, but unfortunately she does, and it's it. not... The, the thing is, what what's kind of heartbreaking about that statement and making that statement mm -hmm. is the fact that unfortunately one of the people that used to be Kirsten's mods and I know this for a fact because I searched for him he lived in America 
I know it for fact because America, they um, keep everything. They have like all arrest reports and all that sort of stuff. So you can literally see anything, anytime anyone's been arrested with anything relating to children. And this mod that was on there that had been on there for ages and that we used to message Kay Kirsten all the time, we started to have a bit of a an ick about him. And so I searched his name and I found information that I'm obviously glad I found out because I could protect everyone against him. But I also wish I'd never found out if you get my drift. Unfortunately, I then went and looked on Instagram to, because he was also following Kirsten on Instagram and she wasn't the only person he was following and most of the other people he was following were, well, they were all disabled and most of them were underage. And so I then had to be the person to message every single one of them and I literally just typed out a message and then had screenshots of the arrest reports and just sent that to every single girl that he followed um it was sickening and so her experience with that might have been something that colored her however it's a very easy weapon to use against men um because it instantly makes everyone go oh oh no i'll stay away from him then unfortunately for her enough of us know mark well enough that we know he couldn't hurt a fly and he's lovely and we would never think that of him so yeah, it's one of those things but also emily there's a thing called sarah's law yeah and i can assure you mark's not on there that's the thing and i i make certain checks because obviously i've got a couple of videos where my son's on my tiktok i would not Same. be trained I would not be friends with Mark if I had any concerns about him whatsoever. I would not have him as a friend on here. I would not have him as a friend anywhere if I had any concerns whatsoever. And I don't have any concerns about him in the slightest because he's just not that sort of person. He's just not capable of doing that. The thing is, the best of it is, is she's trying to discredit him because of the fact that he can prove evidentially, like the reason nuclear hard evidence basically she convinced mark to buy her new glasses which he did and i've taken the piss out of him for doing this because he shouldn't have done it but he did because he was trying to be nice and she then stood up on video wearing those glasses she was literally wearing those glasses and she was stood up and then tried to do the oh that that was taken years ago it's like, dude, you're wearing the glasses that Mark bought you. He has the date of when he bought them. He can prove when he bought them. Exactly that. Heather, Heather, please stop calling. Someone in the um, comments was talking about calling John, Johnny Savile. Savile. And I know Jimmy who Savile! And I know who said that. <laughs> Heather! <laughs> You can't call him. That. I can because he does. I think it's hilarious. Nazi it's funny, behavior. but yeah. like. Oh, sorry, Mark. Mark actually bought her two pairs of glasses. Mark, you're not helping yourself out here, mate. Mark, Mark is in the this. comments. Mark, Mark is. Mark, you should have kept Mark. some for yourself, hon. Mark is the lanky <laughs> git next to the pretty lady in a pink dress. Mark is not the pretty lady in a pink dress. Just to make it clear. I mean, Mark oh, might look good in a, a pink dress. I don't know. Guys, I only can we my, the subject? I only my noodles just said this is triggering people. Yeah, sorry. I only um, unmute myself sorry, because I was like, um, wanted to tell Heather to maybe stop calling him that person. I ain't never gonna stop no. calling him that because he is on live. Maybe on live, right. I might stop on live. Okay, sorry guys. It's all right. right so I will just, move on I'm from sorry. to a different subject. Right. No. Yeah, we'll move on Cube. now. Hiya, uh, cubes. Cubes, uh, cubes, cubes. Yes. Uh, have you got Sorry, experience? Sorry, who with... else just heard pubes? Yes. Yeah. Um, actually, I just thought you said pubes. I didn't say pubes. <laughs> I said cubes. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. My I'm sorry. Isn't Is that it just bad? me and Heather? Yes. It's Heather, just you two being pubes. Um, I think our minds are in the car. Yeah, they are clearly. Yeah, definitely. 
Oh, oh no, Emma yeah. said it, she heard it as well. Okay, whatever. It's obviously the way I speak. Oh, thanks, Secret Heaven. And becoming me. Uh, right, I Cubes. Yes. Go, go. Uh, 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 there's a lot to say, but I don't know. Oh. <laughs> um, Chloe, do you want to go? And then we can go over to... Oh, no. Chloe, Mother Noodle, yeah. and then Lauren. We've got to do I was going to say, can Chloe go? Because Chloe's if been I, If I while. drop, it's because I've got a phone call. It's nothing personal. All right, then. Well, you can always jump straight back up anyway. Um, right, so, Chloe, do you want to go? And then Mother Noodle can go. Yeah, sure. Um, but I apologise in advance, brain fog. Um, my story um, is quite long. I modded for Kirsten for quite a few months with Zoe. Um, and now, I just want to say I have never hated on Kirsten and never will. However, Kirsten accused me of coming on Emily's live a couple of months ago and hating on her, which I have never done, never will. Um, she quite quickly targeted me, accusing me of hate, and then threatened my job. Um, for those who don't know, I'm not going to say my job, but Emily knows it, Zoe knows it, and quite a few other people in this life know what my job is. I do Kirsten has threatened my job not only once but twice. I have called multiple ambulances for Kirsten because I know that was something that people wanted to know. Yes, I have called multiple ambulances for her um, and would continue to if need be. Um, like I said, I don't want to hate on her. Um, I have evidence of anything that I say. Um, now, Kirsten has been absolutely horrible to me, towards me, um, called me a backstabber, um, as well as a couple other things I'm not going to stay on here because I don't want to get anybody mm. bananaed or triggered. Um, but I have proof of what Kirsten has said to me. Now, Kirsten did also ask me for money on several occasions. She also threatened me with mental health stuff, um, similar threats to what Emily and whatnot probably had that she's going to harm herself. Um, I got sectioned by her. Pardon? Basically, Sorry. no, you're, you're fine, Amy. You're fine. Go ahead, Amy. First thing got me sectioned. I'm sorry. Um, it's what it is, isn't it? Can't live really live for three years. That was, three years. That was, can't live really live for three years. That was spent in. No. This is it's what it is. I have plenty of screenshots of what Carson called me, um, said about me. She, when she accused me of hate coming on Emily's live, hating on her. She did this in the mod group chat where every other mod in there, minus Sam, who is Black Rose, and a couple others targeted me, didn't believe me, would not allow me to speak. Now, they've said they had evidence of what that I apparently came can on. I just Chloe, can I just interject, Chloe? Can I just make you everyone aware? I also um, didn't say anything. To Chloe about any of this, I believe Chloe all along. Talk. Just wanted to make it aware because I'm, I'm not going to lie, Chloe. I was one of those people that questioned whether we know you, you were still modding for Kirsten, and I didn't let you speak. That was yes, I know. my mistake. But I, I can 120 percent say what Chloe is saying is true. Well, I can attest to it. Yeah, I'm sorry, Chloe. I just wanted to say that because I know people know that I modded the same time as you did, so I didn't want people to think that I was one of them people that was, did believe you. No, there was, there was me, Zoe and Chloe. But I'll shut up. No, now. Zoe. I'll shut up. Head left. Um, if my, it sounds like I'm crying, I'm not. My voice is just really shaky at the minute because pulse I'll be on when you finish. heart rate. <laughs> but basically, she accused me of that. Um, 
every other mod targeted me in that mod group chat. Now I can prove this, I have screenshots. Um, she then quickly, when I called John in hysterics because I was freaking out, especially when she threatened my dog. I was freaking out. Sam can attest to that, and Zoe can attest to that. I was freaking out. Um, she, I called John in bits, saying, I've like, Kirsten's just accused me of this. I would never, I would never do that. What do I do? Because Kirsten wasn't allowing me to talk. She was not allowing me to say anything. They said they had proof of it. But when I asked, I was like, right, show me what proof you have. And I can, like, I can then say my bet on it. They never showed proof. They kept quickly going away from wanting to show proof. Now I called John and John was furious of cursing, going for my job and threatening me in many other ways. Um, and the minute John caught, hung up the phone 10 minutes later, Kirsten was immediately saying she got it wrong, that it was her paranoia and from that point on wasn't allowed to talk about it. She then did that the same thing a couple of weeks ago when I, told, when I unmod, finally figured out how to unmod myself. Now Heather, I and Emily, because Emily knows that at one point I did go back. Um, I did go back and mod for I think about a week, and then got back out. But she did the exact same thing, message, but this time privately, messaged me privately, and hated. Called me a couple of horrible names. Um, again, wouldn't let me speak. Called me a backstabber and threatened my job. Again. Sorry, Emily. I just want to say something. Lucy Lou this time, is saying that Chronic Munchie Hunter threatened her job. Now, I know Chronic Munchie Hunter personally. No, she and didn't. I don't think that's what she would do. So please stop spreading rumours. I know I she would do something like Lucy that. Lou. Hang on two seconds. Lucy Lou, if you have screenshots of proof that someone's gone after your job, then share them on your own TikTok. And I personally will share that video because you're talking Please shit. Please do, Lucy Lou. You're full of rubbish. I know completely, Chronic Monkey completely Hunter fit. personally, and I know for a fact she would not do that. Yeah, same here. We know her very, very well, and there's no way she'd do anything like that. So crack on. Yeah, send it to me, Lucy Lou. Look, I know you want a Kirsten's mods, and I'm not going to kick you out because of the fact that this is trying to raise awareness. Because there's people like yourself who needs to be removed from her. Now, you can stay watching her lives. I know you are, Amanda. I know you're a mod. You can you can all stay watching her lives. Why you've jumped from her life onto mine? Yeah, but you're on her lives. You're one of her cronies. Don't talk, don't fucking beat around Emily, the bush about whether Emily, you're a mod or not. Emily, Emily, breathe. Ignore it. I'm gonna boot them. Oh, it's breathe. not worth it. Lucy Lou, I look forward to the screenshots, but I know a hundred bazillion percent that that person would not do what you are claiming. I'll tell you what. Goodbye, darling. Thank you. I literally saw her on the screen recording the other day that she wasn't went before. Um, yep. two thank you. I don't know how to down. boot them out. And then we'll put the comments back on. Before anybody says that I can prove that Kirsten is I, I, I can. I was there. Well, wait, carry on, darling. Yeah, I, I can prove. Carry on, Chloe. Sorry, 100%. Sorry, darling. I've spoken to back. Emily, Heather, and other people. Um, I will admit I did go back and mod, um, but at that point in time, I, my, my, my mental health wasn't great, um, and neither was my physical health now. I did not step back because of um, hating on Kirsten or anything like that. I stepped back because at that point in time, my physical health started to say, decline. At that point in it time, is still, still declining. declining. Chloe. At the end of the day, it's though, still, Chloe, babe, it's still declining. whether you choose um, to mod for her or you don't, it's none of our business. 
Like, I know when I, I said to you, you know, you're still modding, please leave, and I wouldn't give you a chance to speak. That's because I was trying to protect Zoe at that point, because I was concerned for Zoe. And I should have went about it a different way, but I, I didn't. Happy. But, you know, all everybody wants is the same as what you want, hon. And whether you choose to mod for or or you don't, we'll still be here for you. 100%. Oh, no, I, the thing I is, if you agree. wanted to go back and mod um, for her, like well, you'll, like you'll remember, because I'm, I'm straight as a dart, the same as Heather is, but I, I have a bit more tact than Heather in oh, that I told you, you were stupid. Told you you were stupid for going back to mod for her again. However, I said to you, yes, you did. I will still be here for you, and when you finally decide to get away from that, I'll be here for you. And regardless, yeah. just be aware of what she's like so you're going into it with the knowledge of what she's like don't send her any money don't send her any more money and yep. that was my major concern my main concern and i knew that the girls were trying to get you out of that situation but knowing having been in your situation myself you can only get yourself out of that situation when you're mentally ready to and i think when you first left you still felt an obligation yeah. to her because you probably did think some of what we said was true, but could she really be lying about all of it? And like you said at the time, what if this time when she had a seizure was the one time it was a real one? And I completely understand that. I 100% understand that. Yep. So I understood why you'd done it. But and I that's was exactly why said, every time I call an ambulance, because yep. one day it could be bad. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> If you didn't call the ambulance and on. something bad happened, you as a mod would be responsible for not having Can I just, sorry, Chloe, I'm exactly. literally going to say one more thing and I am going to actually up. shut up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I keep interrupting Chloe. <coughs> but it's also because I no, you're know not. a lot of this. I'm no, just going to say that, that really? night, the same night that obviously Heather and Emily spoke to Chloe about going back, I also then did have a go at Chloe, but that's more because she didn't tell me. Okay. That wasn't I because she that went back, because I wouldn't have cared, quite frankly, if she went back, went because I would have supported her regardless. But it was more the fact that you didn't tell me. Yeah. Which we, which we spoke about. See, my issue wasn't about the fact that you were we modding. Did. Like that, well, it kind of was, that's a lie. It kind of was. But my main concern is at that time, there was a group and there was lots of personal information getting yes. back to Kirsten and that was what I was scared of. So I had said previously, before you come to the group, anybody oh, that I comes to the group who we've seen modding, I'm going to give them a chance to explain, which I didn't, and I apologise, and I really do mean that. But, and then we remove You're them okay. because I didn't want people's personal information getting back to her because that's what she uses against people. Yeah. And as for the ambulances, I'm a parent to two children myself. One's an adult. But if something happened to her and I, as a mother, I'm watching and I, I have not done anything, that's going to forever be on my shoulders and I'm not willing to take that risk. Yeah. No, I, I called multiple ambulances for Kirsten. I am now blocked from Kirsten, um, probably because she knows well, that I, I, would, I would call an ambulance because I had done on several occasions, even yeah, when I would John absolutely said still that call John weren't needed. If I, was, if I saw something, I would absolutely still call John, regardless of whether I think what it's was? real or not. I would still call John. I still have John's number. Yeah, I do so as this well. This is what I but won't I do. I won't call her parents. I will call paramedics because if she is seriously unwell, it takes John 10 minutes to get there. Now, if she's claiming it's a low blood glucose level, you only have 10 minutes before serious brain damage is done to that person yeah. of a low blood glucose. Yeah. If it's a seizure, you've only got exactly. two minutes before more brain damage is done. Yeah, the only reason breathing. I said I'd call John is because I don't actually know Kirsten. I was one of the mods that doesn't know Kirsten's address. See, Sorry. I've still got Kirsten's address written down. Now, the thing is, after me and her haven't spoken for ages, now you can look on my you can look on my Facebook. I'm more than happy for you to all have my Facebook details. I don't give a crap. I look exactly the same. It's just me and my other half in the picture, and my full name's on my TikTok anyway, so I'm very easy to find. I posted something, and it was directed. Yeah. You did. It was directed at one of my ex friends. It wasn't directed at Kirsten. It was directed at one of my ex friends. And it was, I shared it and I tagged my bestie in it because we were both friends with this girl. 
who was basically a user. And I think the post was something about, oh, those people are more than happy to tell everyone about all the stuff they did for you, but won't ever mention all the stuff you did for them. And so I tagged my friend, my bestie Abby in it, and I was like, ain't yeah. this the truth? Tagged her in it, and then Kirsten decided to comment on it and said, yeah, that's right. And I was like, sorry, what I now? I saw that. I Who saw the that. Who do you think you are?